Well, this is obviously an incredibly devastating event. Uh, it's our worst nightmare. Uh, the, um, the entire OSU family is very close, very close indeed. And uh, to lose anyone, uh, and especially these two individuals who were incredible life forces uh, in our family, uh, is, uh, is, it's worse beyond words. Um, Ann and I were with the family this morning, and uh, it, it, they, they need all of our prayers, uh, all of our support. Uh, when something like this happens, and God forbid it happened again, uh, we have to pull together as a family. We got to try to do that. Uh, I think this is the longest I've gone without without tearing up. Um, so, uh, as Gary says, we we don't know a lot about what happened and how it happened, uh, but we know they're gone, uh, and uh, at least from our presence. But I know they're here in our hearts. Uh, so I just ask everyone to pull together and, and to support each other and the, and the Butkey family and the Cerner family, Cerner family um, in every way possible. So I'll take questions. Well, you know, I, I think people don't... Uh, fully appreciate, who are not in athletics and certainly not in the coaching profession, I, I don't know how much they appreciate uh, what incredible mentors these people are to, uh, to their teams. Uh, I, I've always said coaching is a lot more uh, about psychology than it, is about, uh, than it is about the nuts and bolts of the particular sport. Um, our coaches, coaches everywhere, guide their students uh, in, in developing the life skills that they, they need to be successful in life. Perseverance, hard work, practice, all, all the dedication that's required. And I know of no one that did that better than Kurt. Uh, Ann and I were also very fond of Miranda. She was from an area in New Mexico that we know very well. Um, first of her family to go to college. Uh, they were just both beautiful people. And uh, I, I'd, I'd love to be the man that Kurt Butke is and the, and the person that Miranda was. So. Well, not, you know, not immediately. I mean, I was focused on on the family and and uh, and this tragedy. I mean, the other was, of course, a monumental tragedy as well. Uh, but um, and, and those comparisons and, and reflections will obviously come up. But uh, but right now uh, we pulled together. Then it was a very hard time uh, under the leadership of Jim Halligan and Coach Sutton. Somehow uh, we all we all made it to the other side and. Um, without ever forgetting, we'll always remember, and, uh, and we'll always remember Kurt and Miranda. Well, it's, it's just what you would expect. I mean, it's when, when somebody is young and vibrant, uh, uh, and, and I should correct that, I have not been uh, uh, with the Cerner family yet, uh, although we're, we're hoping to see them soon. But I have been with uh, Shelley and the, and the kids, and uh, it's, I mean, it, you, can, you can imagine uh, the, the absolute devastation that this is. It's just, there's no way to describe it. How does the university, what? Well, as I say, you got to pull together, but you don't, you, you don't forget. Remembering is part of the whole process, I think, and, and, and receiving inspiration from, from their lives. Uh, but, um, 
but there's nothing easy right now. It's a lot of hugs and, and uh, a lot of tears. Um, you, you mean that I had, or, or yeah? Well, I, I'd see see them all the time. I mean, uh, I'd often uh, see uh, see Kurt and and, uh, and or Miranda somewhere around the Gallagher Ibe Arena here. They were here all the time. Um, as far as last communications, Jim might have a better uh, better feel for that. Well, obviously, their their connection is uh, is deeper than theirs, and the coaches uh, are deeper, and the staff are deeper than anybody else's. Uh, and I think we do have to be very sensitive to to their uh, their situation, and uh, and not to push push anybody. In fact, I I'm, I appreciate Jim being here, but told him he didn't have to be. He wanted to be. Okay. Talk about this obviously all the excitement going on with the football team such a Well, it's just a cold slap of realism. Um, as I say, I think I think the most important thing about sports are what the what the players learn from it and what we should learn from it uh, in in reviewing them. Um, but you know that's that's just the sport. This is life for death. And then, sadly, it's death. Given the way the campus community and Stillwater has come together in the 10 years since the previous tragedy, uh, does that give you an hope or inspiration uh, that you would be able to similarly bond this time around? Well, at the point we are right now, you, it, it looks very dark ahead. It, it's hard to see any any light at all. But if we do, if, if we really help each other and support each other through this, Someday, somehow, we'll, uh, we, we will manage. But as I say, it'll never be by forgetting. Just as, just as with our tragedy 10 years ago, uh, we will remember. Yeah. What counseling options are available for the staff? Well, there's, there's a good deal, and it might be Susie Burke might want to respond to that uh, to you later. But... Uh, we have a full staff of counselors uh, available to everyone, especially to the, uh, the athletic department and to the team, of course, and all the staff. Ten years ago, the decision was made not to cancel um, men's basketball games following the tragedy. Um, what kind of decision made just going out and just making changes? I think you deal with those things in the in the, the instant circumstance and. Uh, we just felt like this was the best approach, was the best decision. What about those families who were back in town a few minutes ago? Uh, you know, she had uh, basketball crash. You know, now seeing these images and, and remembering and, and they can be dredged up by the media and, and the public. Um, what about those families? Well, I don't think the ache ever goes away. Uh, we see we see the families often, uh, and uh, we we have a memorial uh, gathering every year. Um, and I'm sure that 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 kind of pain never really fully leaves you. Um, shouldn't ever leave you. But um, they've been incredibly supportive, and I dare say they will be for us as well.